Hey, so today wanted to talk about things to do in Wichita, Kansas. So these I want to talk about two of the biggest, um, like seven, eight, nine, ten day, um, as you can see right in front of you, it says Kansas State Fair. And the other one is River Fest. So these are the two big events uh, that is held by kind of like the Wichita City almost. And then, of course, Kansas State Fair. The River Fest one, well, I'll talk about at the end of this, um, it has already happened this year. It's usually May or June um right before the the heat kicks in and then of course this is always great because it's uh kind of as the weather's changing um from the dates that we can see um beginning of september so one to kind of give you the highlight again this is for all the people moving uh to wichita kansas some things to do uh, and this is about 30 minutes for i should say 45 minutes um, from wichita so let me get back to this i'm going to jump into a couple of pages i've got pulled up so kansas state fair here we go eight september 8th to the 17th of this year so we're about a couple weeks out at this point and um, again, you can go to kansasstatefair.com. This just happens to be the event state slide where it just kind of goes day by day, you know, and tells you all the different things that are happening. The giant pumpkin way, and there's lots of contests, lots of animal events, um, Girl Scout, food exhibits, Florida culture, fine arts exhibits, birthing center, I think for the the animals uh, like, like the cows and stuff like that moo you guided barn tours can you tell we're in rural <laughs> town here um so yeah base, this kind of shows events if you get to the events page what's happening day by day so you really want to get this and i can email you out i'm going to go over the program that i showed you in the very beginning there i can email that out to you or you of course can go to the website um and just you really kind of need to plan your events i mean check out all this stuff Carly Pierce is going to be um, in, in different bands are happening each evening. Let's see which one's this the next day. Um, Rob Schneider. We'll look at that. And I got another slide up here. We'll look at that in a second. Again, this just, you know, you want to really kind of get an idea of what's happening. And I'll show you a map here of the overview to September 13th and then September 14th. Like I said, lots of days, you know, obviously the great food on rides and um i'll show you the pricing too here shortly as well rub a dub dub grab some grub reno county community quilt professional our open rabbit display open pigeons poultry display um llama show again a ventriloqu ventriloquism show of course the moo ones we've already talked about um anyway so there you go that so that's the event page of the kansas state fair then here's the competition if you're looking at doing any of the competitions of course some people who already live here uh, this is targeted more toward people that are moving out here but you know they they go to the 4-h and they jump in these different competitions year after year and then open livestock competitions equine shows and competitive exhibits uh, so if there's anything that you want to jump in for a competition there you have it this is i believe is this the yeah the free stage schedule so just kind of showing you all the free performances the jazz orchestra piano man ron diamond kevin Hort, the ventriloquist family fair show and others again just as just if you're, if you're jumping around the uh the website um then here's the, the Kansas State Fair concerts, and they're showing you ticket prices. Need to Breathe, Carly Pierce, Rob Schneider, and they're showing you prices over here. How many tickets are left? Um, Cooper Allen, I think he's the guy that I see on um, TikTok. Um, tickets from $59, $50, Hairball, Ja Rule, Matthew West. So that kind of shows you... Uh, and then here we got the map. Now I want to show you down here. This is Wichita. Let's blow this up a second. So here you are in Wichita. Here you got, as I always talk about my videos, the west side of Wichita, the east side, north, Valley Center, Park City, south. You got Newton up here. And here we are, Hutchinson. I'm looking for where my family, oh, yeah, my family's over in Little River here. <laughs> so this is where I always came out and, and visited when I was younger. Um, so, yeah, this is about uh, 40-ish minutes from here up to there. And um, let's check out the map. Let's blow that up a little bit. But uh, this, again, map, you can kind of see 
get your bearings uh, before you get there so you can kind of figure out where everything is. So just like I said, a great, great time. Tons of days of, of fun. Go up there for a couple days, stay at a hotel. People come up from Kansas City to check it out. Click here for a printable version. Let's check out what that looks like for kicks. Yeah. So there you go. And looks like, let's see, this was, I think, oh, these are, this is the, uh, the events again. Well, gate admission here, here we go with the prices. I wanted to give you prices. So gate admission, four to $7. A season's pass is $50. A ride sheet, $20. I'm sure you can buy those in different increments. And then here we go to the concerts need to breathe this between 40 to $70. Midway wristband, $30. Carly Pierce, um, uh, 40 to 70 dollars rob schneider's up to 750 dollars <laughs> and then dylan's day dylan's is our grocery store here so um it looks like you can get a wristband there demolition derby so these are all the different things that do cost um extra cooper allen frank ray 20 to 500 dollars the concerts cost a little bit more matthew west with ann wilson 40 to 750 dollars anyways do you get the point um so that's shows you that okay that i'm going to go back that's river fest i want to get to that that's the other event in a second i want to go to here's and this is the um thing that i can email you the program uh it's a, the pdf and so basically let's get down got the the kansas shoes of uh wizard of oz um again it's like what's how long is this this is a uh, a bunch of pages so i'm going to show you the pricing first here we got pricing, I'm trying to blow this up. Where's my, I have a touch screen, so let me just, <laughs> um, so here we got, you know, $7 for the September 8th has different, before September 8th, I'm sorry, if you buy it, you get a little bit of a discount. And then if you're buying it from 8th through the 17th of September, a little bit more, you got the adults is 13 and plus, kids, seniors, 60 plus and military id there so uh let's, and then here's the gate the the hours what you can't bring what you can bring and i want to get down here's a couple of different schedules of events and more more wristband pricing over here punch cards for games rides the rides and the prices and the times of them i want to get down to the schedule on this and then this is just more you know explanations of what what you can see Record breaking pumpkin with a different contest, best jerky, county contest, quilt block, con and land of Oz, you know, the youth exhibits. Uh, so, okay, I want to get livestock stuff to watch, obviously. And here we got the concert series. Uh, again, we, we just looked at the pricing of all those. So, that kind of, again, you, you, a lot to do that you got to really kind of plan in advance. The, um, Here's the the free stages, concerts. Uh, here's the map on this. Again, this is the easiest way to really kind of plan your thing is just to grab this PDF. Special attractions. Okay, I want to get down to the... Here, and so here we go. Down on page... I could see this page earlier, but... Can't. Oh, is that 21? Is that here? Page, I think it's... Yeah, 22. Okay, it's right there at the bottom. So, um... Yeah, just the daily events, and you've got it. So this is where you can kind of plan your day, what's going on. If you if you print this out, so Friday you've got all these things going on: homemade ice cream and topping, judging, ventriloquist, the Moo You guided barn tours, the hypnotist, beef showmanship, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, then you got Saturday again. This so this great way to kind of check out, depending on what day you plan on going up. Got a pub crawl, pronto pup eating contest. Curious what that is. Um, and again, there you go. That's all the, how you can kind of plan your schedule and then some advertisements. So anyways, that that kind of gives you the lowdown on the Kansas State Fair. Again, it's about two weeks away. I'm filming this today on the 18th of August, and this starts um, September 8th to 17th. And this is a, an annual event. It's been going on for years and years and decades. I'm, I'm, I think because there's a whole history thing up on the website. Um, but yeah, reach out to me. I can email this to you again, this event. And then the Riverfest event are the two big events that are like seven or 10 days. 
this is Riverfest. Now, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because we've passed this year. It was June 2nd to the 10th. It's kind of like right before the heat kicks in. Um, and so, again, it's just it's the two big events, you know, because it's it's the 2nd to the 10th however many days i think i went to was it not this year the year before i went to willie nelson the concert it was amazing it was great tons of people way too crowded but it was great because it's willie nelson so it's really chill <laughs> if you get my drift um and so yeah there that's and this is downtown wichita so they close off a lot of streets during this time um you, know, you got century two right here the hyatt arkansas river yes we call it arkansas carnivals um you got mocha's my favorite coffee shop right over here and then riverfront stadium's not that far away um and what's funny is during riverfest like i played in different years ago volleyball tournaments and they've got like softball tournaments that are specific they're called riverfest men's softball tournament riverfest co-ed softball tournament uh and then i think the riverfest volleyball tournament so on there and they're on different weekends i think co is on one men's is, is on another so again just the whole city doesn't shut down necessarily but it's it's a whole function way beyond just the the, the carnival and the the different events and the different concerts i i know my broker posted something recently where his family i guess every year does the fireworks and sit, was sitting down somewhere and it looked really cool he's like oh it's a family tradition uh to watch the fireworks you always know when it's over because the fireworks are are going off at the very end of it i would assume maybe that probably happens also at the kansas state fair but uh i don't live super far from there this so yeah here are the fireworks and the river fest uh riverfront stadium fireworks where it, the the double a base or triple a baseball team um works out of and it's a gorgeous stadium but that's right over down here so anyway yeah there you have it so we got the kansas state fair coming in september coming in a couple weeks um which is you know however many days eight to the 17th and then before uh the next one comes up should probably be around june of 2024 i'll try to uh, do, you know send out a video and showing what kind of concerts events you know music here we got the concert lineup vip like i said i saw the willie nelson oh they had the drone i did a video on i think TikTok or instagram my instagram i i cover different things on all my different um platforms and i think the drone show yeah i was after the willie nelson i i did the drone show so this year it looks like at riverfest they had again this is over with but shaggy drew holcomb and the neighbors parker Millsap, brent jones gospel fest let's see oops of course it's going slow okay um and just like I said this kind of just shows oh parmalee that would have been cool to see this kind of just shows who was here and that saturday june 10 was at the end um and then yeah okay that was closing night because that was a, a fireworks display looks like that i was just referring to so again i will um show this next year but just i wanted to just kind of go over the two big events yes we have little tiny like travel kind of carnivals that come up that i'll see like those ferris wheels here and there but these are really the two big events that we have out here so if you're scheduling if you're moving out here scheduling um this shows you buttons are 15 dollars for adults five dollars for children 12 to 6 admission is free for under again kids corner a sundown parade and then the event uh, i'm sorry the concerts do i need to wear my button to enter the festival does it cost extra to attend concerts here here's all the fun stuff but um, anyway, yeah, there, there you have it, the two, and, and hopefully you make it this year to um, Kansas State Fair. If you have any questions on either of these, you want me to send you this guide, um, give me a holler. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.